been my favorite soup lately. Progresso. Creamy chicken noodle. I've been eating it a couple times a week. So I would like to try to make this at home. So if you guys make this, you have a good recipe, leave it in the comment section for me so I can try it. And then I'll let you know how I like it. Thanks. So there's our chandelier, which I noticed the other day when we were playing Clue. It's very dusty dirty. But you can see you're not. So time to clean. Look. Ooh. That's what I'm starting with. How dusty it is. And that's how clean it gets. Yay! for now it's the outside of it clean you can really tell on the white squares it's like woo that light is bright shining through there but now I want to clean up underneath here but that's too hot with the lights on so I'm gonna turn the lights off wait for that to cool down get in there and I have one in the kitchen do that later this week or next week a little bit at a time Well, hi, Jenny here. It is Monday, April 8th, and it's Eclipse Day. So I made myself a little piece of um, um, cardboard with some holes in it. I have black paper out here, so we'll see what we can see. Well, let's say bye, maybe. That. can see. Well, I don't know if this middle one has changed at all. I'm gonna have to watch that and play it back. But otherwise the big holes you can't notice anything. We've got like a minute left. It's gonna be as dark as we get. Any battery left? A little bit. A little funny. Sun's starting to move now. I don't even see my my middle hole. It's getting darker. Getting later in the day. April 8th, it's uh, eight, Monday, it's Eclipse Day, so I figured, well, I made myself a little cardboard piece with some holes in it, I'll try to take a picture every five minutes, see if I can see if anything's going on, and while I'm outside, I will uh, do some gardening. Got a lot of weeds already growing, so I'll keep myself busy out here. So I'll do a little this is before. Ooh, there I am. Hi! <laughs> so, see all the weeds. My others. The other stuff is my tiger lilies, so all the weeds are growing in between. You can find all my tiger lilies are close to the sidewalk growing well, but they've all kind of stopped back by the house. Don't know why. Maybe I'll try to transplant some. Not today. Someday. <laughs> I'll transplant these ones closer, because otherwise they grow over the sidewalk. I'll put them back further against the house. How are we doing? Still recording! Yay! Where are you? <laughs> Got 
some nice big worms in my garden. It's very nice. Helping it grow. I've had a couple little ones too. Woohoo! All done. For now. For today. I got all the big weeds that I could. All the little weeds. But I'm sure all those little ones are going to pop up again. I have no idea what they are. I've got... Let's see how it's one in there. See those small ones? Popped up all over. They did last year too. I have no idea what kind of little weeds they are. So I'm sure they're going to come up some more. But good enough for today. Well, it's funny. I didn't seem to notice it getting any darker during the eclipse. I'm trying to take pictures and I haven't noticed anything in the pictures. But I'm still out here now on the back end of the eclipse. That seemed to get brighter out <laughs> and a little bit warmer. So that's interesting. Anyways, I'll see if I can see anything on the, all the pictures I've taken, putting them side by side, if there's any difference or not, but I don't think so. Anyways, still interesting. Check out my back area of garden. I always have this one tulip that comes up. I don't know how it got there, if a squirrel planted it or what. That gets there. And of course, I've mentioned before, I nicely have feral cats that come. And I have, you know, nice feral cats that come around and leave me presents. So, I don't know, this whole area, it hasn't grown grass in the longest, well, since I've been here. I probably had a little more grass up here. But for some reason, it's turned more to dirt. And then I put those decorations in the garden. Because the cat would also poop in there. So if I have stuff in there, that's also why I plant flowers in there, then the cat can't go there. But now it's taken to pooping out here. So we'll see. Maybe I can get the kind of people to plant grass there. But raspberry bushes, nothing happening with them right now. A couple more tulips. That again. And I haven't planted it. Oh, I see some more. There's some bulbs on the tulips, so they're getting ready to bloom. And then I've got one little raspberry sprig there that's getting ready. But that's all for now. There aren't too many weeds in there though either, so that's good. See, I planted tulip bulbs once in my garden, but I think the squirrels dug them up and planted them in my grass because they didn't grow in my garden. <laughs> but yet, I have these type of leaves in my grass, which obviously the grass cutters cut over. And then also, first dandelion. Woohoo! So this is the neighbor's garden area, which I haven't weeded yet. And the mob's area, because there's some flowers over there. Ready to come up. But this is pretty much what I all raked out the other day. These are these little, like I said, coffee bean pods from this tree. That all ended up in the garden, so between some garden stuff and some coffee bean stuff. Get those out before they start blooming. Alright. So, yeah, the eclipse was uh, no big thing here. Like I said, I did watch it online a little bit and saw how Mexico had turned like totally dark. That was pretty awesome. And here it got just a little bit darker, but then I could tell it got a little brighter. So darker as in like it almost seemed just a little hazy. And that's what I've seen from other people online from this area that were watching it and whatever that I guess the moon did pass in front of the sun, but enough that it was just a little dot in the sun. The sun's still showing all around it, so so yeah, that's alright. Still neat thing to kind of have participated in and seen that. But that was all for, for that. Yeah, I was telling my husband in our walk the other day that I was doing stuff like raking my mom's house and knowing how much I can do. Or as I said, I was feeling, feeling it then, so I didn't want to do the weeding too. Cause just got to do little bits, little bits at a time. So cleaning the chandelier, I did the outside and that was enough. But because I'm able to do some of these extra things, that um, I'm finally feeling like normal again. So that, that's so nice. 
Like again, I know I've come a long way. I know what I've been through and how much I wasn't able to move and do stuff, and now I am. And even though I was able to do a little bit, now I'm doing like more normal stuff, more things like you know cleaning the chandelier, which hasn't been done in a couple of years. But, you know, it's not something you do every day. So these little bit extras that take a little bit more out of you, um, even gardening type stuff that that's like. Even though I get some pain here and there, and I still take it a little slowly, for the most part, um, I'm feeling like really back to normal. So, that is so nice. It makes me happy. <laughs> so, surprisingly, the gardening, I felt a lot in my stomach. I know usually the next day after gardening, I feel it in my thighs, and uh, they're pretty painful. <laughs> but this time, maybe because I was kneeling on my little uh, cushy pad, I didn't feel it a lot in my legs. I felt a little bit. I could feel it a little bit this day what was going on. But um, yeah, I was feeling it in my stomach. So <laughs> again, just little bits, day by day, getting things done. So because of that, I'm not going to finish cleaning the chandelier today. And we'll save that for tomorrow. And uh, also making my chicken soup. I've got ingredients for that. Make some soup. And that should be it for for the moments. That's all that's going on. Um, yeah. So I will fill you in then on Friday after my Thursday Friday appointment. Still not feeling any difference from the acupuncture. This is where I usually would feel it is when I'm walking and my feet feel the same. So again, like I said, I think it's four weeks. My one friend said that she had it done years ago. She felt the difference like a couple of weeks after. So we'll see. I've had this going on for a long time, so I don't know if it's going to take a lot longer to have the effect be felt or if it will just make any difference at all. It's just going to be a matter of time. So we shall see. So I'm going to finish my walk here. Enjoy that. Enjoy the weather. I hope you guys are all doing well. Let me know if you. Uh, we're able to see the, um, the eclipse. If, and how in totality was it where you were at? <laughs> it would have been pretty cool to have been in the complete totality, but that's all right. It's still cool to watch it on, on TV. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're doing well. You guys, keep it positive. <laughs>